children that have experienced domestic violence, even at, the, at an early age of, say, a year, um, can have difficulties later on in life. Um, I'm talking about 14, 15 year olds that maybe run away from home or have mental health problems and then um, form relationships of their own that um, they don't recognise when domestic violence is happening to them because it doesn't always start as something violent, it starts as something very very simple, something controlling. I work with young people aged from 10, 11 up until their early 20s and I find that quite a lot of those young people have domestic violence within their own relationships. It's not just they've witnessed domestic violence at home, it's actually part of the relationship that they're in. Nottinghamshire Domestic Violence Forum developed a whole school approach to respond to the startling fact that so many people were living with domestic violence. One in four women will experience it in their lifetime. We believe that early intervention is key to reducing domestic abuse and we have been delivering early intervention work within secondary schools since 2001 and have delivered lessons to thousands of students and hundreds of members of staff. It's a new part of their life coming to secondary school. I think it's been a challenge for them to think about you know, some of the stuff that does go on in everyday life and I think it's really opened their eyes to some of the issues that you know, people face. I've been really impressed with their response to, to the lessons. It's really shown they've got a really deep understanding now of, of how they need to react to each other, respond to each other and also you know, sort of treat everyone with sort of equal respect. I learnt a lot and it made me think about the subject. It taught me about what is a healthy relationship and made me want to have a healthy relationship. The training that we've done with the Domestic Violence Forum has been amazing. It's a real eye-opener. We did a training day again yesterday and just from that short hour that they were there we had several students come forward and say actually that happened to my sister, that happened to my mum when I was little and I know now that it wasn't my mum's fault, it wasn't my sister's fault. I think before this they probably wouldn't have and if they did I don't think as staff we would have been able to cope with it as well as we have done now um, and we felt much more confident and I think from that the students have picked that up. Young people are entitled to happy and healthy relationships. Some of the young men are, perhaps for the first time in their lives, questioning their image of what it is to be a man. A lot of the young girls uh, have also begun to uh, question what they want and what might possibly hold them up and what might get in the way of their progression, which is a, a good thing to be in. They, they are looking to see, well, is my relationship moving me forward? Is it making me happy? All of our lessons are age appropriate, they're interactive, they consider different learning styles. And we make sure that we deal with a very sensitive subject carefully and, and appropriately for the age group that we are working with. We also make sure that it fits in with PHSE curriculum targets. teaches young people what domestic violence is and, and told them like, not to do it. Once I watched that play, I actually thought to myself yeah, that it's not really right to, um, to do what? To do bad things to women and anything. It has made them very aware that they don't want to be associated with that kind of behaviour. It's made them think very carefully about it. It really benefits the students to be, to be looking at what makes a healthy relationship, what makes an unhealthy relationship and, and how to manage those relationships. Yeah, I think uh, a lot of schools will get a lot out of it. I mean, it's, it's put together by an outside provider, so it's a very nice, simple thing for a teacher to, to follow and help out and also learn from. I definitely remember, recommend it. We really grasped the opportunity. We've had a fantastic time uh, engaging with the project. We've seen huge benefits and I would absolutely recommend that other schools participate in this as well. We can see from um, an evaluation that we've had done by Nottingham Trent University that we've got some very good results from that project with um, high numbers of young people changing their attitudes towards relationships. The whole school approach has raised awareness in secondary schools. It's shown children how much domestic abuse there is in society, which a lot of them said that they were shocked by when we were interviewing them. 
From our evaluation, young people have learned a great deal of things about domestic violence. They've learned that it isn't just physical violence, it can be emotional, it can be sexual, it can be financial. They've learned that it's a choice whether you commit domestic violence. They've learned that a lot of the things that are talked about as reasons for domestic violence are actually excuses. And most importantly, they've learned what a healthy relationship looks like. The PSHE Association is pleased to support this very important whole school approach for secondary schools which will go a long way in helping young people to develop and maintain healthy relationships, as well as deal with risky and negative relationships. At Nottinghamshire Domestic Violence Forum, we believe that a whole school approach can contribute to the reduction of domestic abuse in society. We believe that young people are entitled to happy and healthy relationships, and by working with them through a whole school approach, we can prevent domestic abuse.